the L train, right? Every New Yorker has ridden it, and the people who live off of it have been dreading the day it shuts down for 15 months. Sure, it'll plunge a good deal of New Yorkers into a transit nightmare from which there seems to be no escape. But what if I told you there was an alternative? Hi, I'm Granger Wilson, and today we're gonna to be checking out a few different ways to get to Manhattan instead of taking the old L train here. <laughs> I left out from the city about a week ago And in my saddlebag I've got a petticoat The sun is smiling at me, he knows what You know, feet are kind of like the original trains if you don't think about it. Walking to Manhattan might sound like a tall order, but if you leave two and a half hours early, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's get walking. I actually really like walking to work because it gives you a chance to catch up on some of your audiobooks or podcasts or whatever you like to listen to. One, concerning hobbits. This book is largely concerned with hobbits and from its pages, a reader may discover much of their character. You know, this is probably my favorite part about walking to work is that you get to see all these things that are so unexpected, like the fact that I thought there was a better view from the Williamsburg Bridge than there actually is. Cabs, Ubers, Lyfts, and other taxi services are great. If you get your hands on one, I highly recommend taking one to work. Hey boss, how are you? The thing about cabs is that you have to pay for them with money, which I don't really want to do. But if you have a company like mine, which will reimburse you for things like cab rides for stupid videos about the L train shutdown, then yeah, by all means. You know, hail that cab, call that Uber, lift that Lyft, put on some tunes, rock out, sit back, relax. Baby, you're on the highway to heaven. <laughs> we all talking money, then I never focus me while, but since I'm getting paid. What's up, bro? Yes, I love to skate. Skate or die, right? Well, if I was given the option, I'd probably choose to skate. God damn it. I don't think I'm going to do this one. One pretty good way to get across the East River is by taking your boat. I know most people don't have boats, but if you have one, it's a really great way to get across the East River. And if you don't have one, then I'll cut you a really good deal. <laughs> So I was planning to take my boat across the East River uh, to get to Manhattan, but I'm in the Long Island Sound somehow, so I think I went the wrong direction, and I would say this is not a good way to get to Manhattan when the L train shuts down. So I live in Long Island now, I guess. Uh, all right, like full transparency, I didn't really want to do this next one because I, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. You know, physically, I don't think I'm in good enough shape. Um, I'm going to walk to the J train. God help me. Hey, um, listen, I you know, we're trying to do this walk into the J train thing, and like, I don't think I can, and I was wondering if you'd be okay with just, like, cutting this part out of the segment or something? Um, absolutely not. I really think we need to finish the story, so, uh, try to do what you can.
you know, the L train shutdown is going to be a shit show. There's, there's no denying that. But hey, we're New Yorkers. We live for this kind of misery. We're going to hate our new commute. We're going to cry. We're going to bleed. We're going to sweat. And our lives are going to be turned upside down. But in the end, we're going to love the MTA for what it is. A beautiful baby bird with a broken wing. And maybe together we can all learn to fly. Nah, I'm just kidding, the MTA sucks.